Hello and welcome to another episode of the Oh So Good series. I've got a question before we begin. When I say to you the word ball, what do you think of? Hmm, maybe football? How about tennis ball? If you're thinking of food, you might say meatball. Loads of options. Well, I've got one for you. Protein ball. Might not be something you thought of. That's what I'm making today. Because who doesn't want some high protein balls in their fridge that they can pick at any time of the day? They are a mouthful. So follow along. Hope you enjoy. Let's get to the recipe right now. So first up, it's time to add the protein powder. Now I went for a whey vanilla protein powder because guess what? If the protein's not flowing, the muscles aren't growing. To that, I'm going to add some brown sugar and follow it in with some pecan nuts and almonds. That's going to give it that lovely crunch. And then with a screw on, it's into the Ninja Blender. Now, the Ninja Blender isn't ideal for blending this kind of thing. As you can see there, it needed a vigorous shake. But with enough persistence and enough shaking, you will get a nice, fine blend and it should look just like that the consistency of sand it's not sand i can assure you it just looks like it to that i'm going to add some oats now you can blend all of this at once if you have more of a conventional blender now with all the dry ingredients blended it's time to add the moist ingredients so i've just thrown in some prunes and some nut butter of choice my choice was almond butter but you could use peanut butter you could use cashew butter whatever takes your fancy there it plops in just like that very appetizing and a splash of milk will just help it all blend up nicely give that lid a good screw nice and tight and on it goes for a good blend once again nice vigorous shake as you can see i really do manhandle my blender it needs to be done otherwise you ain't getting the mix you want after a couple of minutes of vigorous shaking you should end up with a mix that looks a bit like this as you can see we're not going for a smooth consistency you do want a bit of texture in there because that means when the balls are in your mouth it will just be that little bit tastier So once the sludge is in the bowl, it's time to add the other half of the oats. We don't want to blend them all because you won't get that same texture if they're all fine. And then pachow, slice that lemon and squeeze it in because the flavour of these today is lemon and coconut. I'm also going to zest some of the lemon in there as well to give it that extra zing. I made the mistake of cutting my lemon in half first before zesting it. Don't do that. Make it so much easier for yourself by zesting it whilst it's whole and then squeezing it. Give it a good stir. Make sure that's all nicely combined. And the oats just mix in lovely. Now, it may take a couple of minutes to get it all smoothly mixed, but eventually you should have what looks to be a nice paste. It doesn't look the most appetising, I'll admit that. It looks more like something you'd see at the bottom of a toilet bowl rather than a bowl in your kitchen. However, once it's rolled into balls and popped in the fridge, something transforms in it. You'll see for yourself. So we're just going to roll the balls up now. This mix makes about 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 balls. No need to be suspicious. I assure you that white powder on the side plate is perfectly legal. That's just desiccated coconut and I'm now going to roll my balls in it. One by one we will just coat the balls in the desiccated coconut. And before you know it you have 12 snowballs. Would be a great Christmas recipe. Just a bit extra of the white stuff for good measure, because you can't have too much. And after a clean up and placed onto a board, because we all know that looks nicer, there we go. 12 snowballs. And don't forget, a full recipe ingredients breakdown, plus the nutrition, and a rough cost per ball is going to be in the description below, so check that out as well. 
The other important thing for these is storage. Personally, I like putting them in the freezer because they get that little bit of firmness. If you want them a bit softer, keep them in the fridge. They will keep for about five days in the fridge anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Hope you gave it a little go yourself. And if you did and liked it, then please don't forget, like the video. I'm off to go and freeze my balls now. Enjoy. And I'll see you for the next one.